It is January Favorite Things Day, and y'all, for the first time ever, I'm going to say, you know, I usually say, oh, I can't believe that this month has gone by so fast. Today, I'm saying this month seems like we should be on March. January has just dragged on. I don't know if it has for y'all, but it seems like it has lasted forever. So, I'm doing this video a little bit differently. You guys like the way that I did my gift guide back in November, where I just kind of walked through the house and I casually shared with you the gifts that I would recommend and shared how I was using them. So, that's how I'm going to do my favorite things for 2021 as well. So, right now we're standing in my bedroom, and if you've never seen one of my favorite things videos, I narrow my favorites down to six. Anything is game. Beauty items, clothing, planner items, anything that I have used and loved that month can make one of these lists. So, my first three items are actually located in the bathroom, so I'm going to share all of those at the same time. Okay, my first item, before I even get to it, I want to talk about it and explain. I'm mentioning it, and it is expensive a little bit expensive but my sister got one and i got one so we both decided for christmas that we were going to buy it for ourselves because i have wanted it for a while and just decided to make the purchase and when we found it on sale so what i'm mentioning and what i'm talking about is a flat iron so this is the bionic 10 x flat iron. You can get it from Sephora. You can get it from Ulta. Anywhere. My hairstylist has used this same thing on my hair since I've lived here. Since I've used her for like six years. Same one. She's not bought a new one. And I can tell you that I've probably been through four flat irons to her one. This thing has worked so well on my hair. After she has cut my hair, she always straightens it with this. And it looks so much better than my flat iron did. So, I've wanted to get this for several years. And every time I go in, I'm like, is it on sale yet? Is it on sale yet? She's like, no, no. It's normally, like, some places have it for 230 Other place it ha places have it for, like, 180 185 I did not pay that. So, my sister and I waited till Black Friday... I got mine from Ulta for $149. Plus, Ulta had this amazing Ebates. If you are not on Ebates, I'm going to leave my referral link in the description below. And if you do click and sign up and then use Ebates, this is not affiliated with them or anything. It just kind of popped into my head on how I saved additional cash. Y'all, I have gotten $800 through Ebates in the last six years. $1,800. And all I have done is the same thing that I would do anyways. So, the way that I did it was I wanted to get this from Ulta. They have cash back. So, you go to Ebates, which is called um, Rakuten or something like that now. But if you go to Ebates.com, it would pop up. So, it has cash back. At certain times, certain shops will change their cash back. So, I want to say that... Ulta at the time was like 15% cash back. So the way that I would do it was go to ebates.com or Rakuten. I think that's how it's pronounced. Type in Ulta.com. Click shop now and it pops up a little transaction thing. You make the purchase exactly like you were going to make. And then they put the percentage of cash back in your cart. And then four times a year, Ebates will cut you a check. So right now, I think mine should be about $70 this time around. So I use it every time I shop online if the shop is available. So I didn't plan on talking about Ebates, but it did allow me to save extra money on this or it gave me cash back. So, I got this for $149. My sister got hers. I think she got hers from Sephora. Hers was the same. I went through Ulta because I was using my cash back and she wasn't. And so, she just went through Sephora. But, and then I got like $15 cash in my Ebates that will be sent to me. I think it is February 15th is the next day. So, 
I will leave that link in my description if you want to sign up. I want to say that you get some kind of first time credit and then it'll give me cash back as well. So I can tell you that I have probably purchased every year a new flat iron, a $50 flat iron. So instead of spending $50 to get a inexpensive flat iron that only lasts a year or so, I just went ahead and bit the bullet and got this one. And let me tell you, this is amazing. My sister, the first day she used hers, calls me and she's like, have you used your flat iron yet? She's like, it is amazing. I love mine. And y'all, normally, if you I don't know if you've noticed, I've been using this since the end of November. My hair is usually like, Phew. this has helped my hair settle down so much. I don't have like the, the frizzy mess going on. Even after I was using my flat iron, my older flat iron, my hair would still be frizzy. This, not anymore. So this is amazing. So even though this cost $150, I would buy one again because I love it that much. And my second favorite thing for January is this. CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for your face. And let me step out in the bedroom and share this with you because the lighting is better. Okay, now I'm sitting on my floor. So this, y'all, I have very dry skin. I have tried all sorts of different face lotions without having anything successful. My mom has been using this. My mom is 65, fixing to be 65, and she does not look 65. She said, her dermatologist said, this is the best stuff to use on your face. It has, um, and it says accepted and there goes that train again national eczema association and it has the hyaluronic acid and all that in it there it is if it zooms in so this has mve delivery technology controlled release for all day hydration non Whatever that means, it won't clog your pores. I can't read that. I'm not even going to lie. Hyaluronic acid helps retain skin's natural moisture, and it is fragrance-free. The only thing I don't like about this, I should have got it at Sam's. My mom has the same tub, and it has a pump on it. I don't like the fact that I have to open this and use my fingers and dip them in there. So the next go-round, I will make sure to get a pump on it. I think I got this one at Walmart. But, y'all, I've been using this for probably two months and I really like it. It moisturizes my face. I have very, very, very dry skin. And this works great. It hasn't broke my skin out. I use it at nighttime and in the morning before I put my makeup on. So I definitely want to mention this. I see this as being my face lotion for a very long time. My third favorite thing is up here. I'm going to pull it down and then here it is. And then we're going to go to the bedroom to talk about it. It is the Hask coconut oil five in one leave-in spray so just like i did with the face lotion i'm going to take this into the bedroom and we're going to talk about it because the lighting is better so i would call this an accidental discovery and y'all look i'm sitting on the floor there's my boots I would call this an accidental discovery. So I'm walking through Walmart looking, and y'all know I'll use the Hask shampoo and conditioners. I love them. They are my favorite. That's what I use. I kind of rotate those. I've mentioned those in favorites videos. So I'm walking through, and I just happen upon this coconut oil 5-in-1 leave-in spray. So it is basically a leave-in conditioner for your hair. And I thought, heck, let me, let me try that. So I use my shampoo and conditioner like I usually do in the shower. And then when I get out, I will spray some of this on my hair. And I love the way that it smells. I love the way that it makes my hair feel. I love the way that my hair blow dries with this. So I've, this is my second or third bottle. So I've been using this since I think November and I love it. Now I would like to try a different one. I think they had another one, but this one I really like. I like the scent. So it says nourishes and detangles. That's exactly what I was about to tell you. It does do that. So I feel like my hair is more nourished and zero tangles. So it does make it easier to blow dry my hair as well. Usually my hair knots up because my hair is so thick, but this has helped so much with blow drying my hair and just the overall feel and texture of my hair. 
So those were my first three items that were located in the bathroom. So my flat iron, my face lotion, and my hair detangler. So now we're gonna go to the kitchen and share the other three. Okay, my camera's acting goofy. Okay, my fourth favorite thing for January is this two-tiered tray. So if you've been part of my community for any length of time, you know that I have several different decorative trays. Well, I put all of them up but this one. I wanted one that was white or off-white, and I ran across this one from, I wanna say the Bailey's Branches Instagram where I've gotten a few of my signs. And I loved this one. I figured out where it came from. I love that it's rectangular. At first, I couldn't decide if I wanted to get this one or if I wanted to get the round one. But after, I don't know, oh, I think it was on Amazon. I think I looked at some of the videos on Amazon and some people recommended the rectangular because you can fit more on it. Glad I went with the rectangular one. I absolutely love this. I love everything about it. And with this one, the little knob on the top, it comes with three different ones. You've got a gold one, you've got the black one, and a brushed silver, I think it is. So I like that if you've got different types of, you know, decorations that you want to change those out, you can. Love, love, love this. It was roughly $57. So I did want to talk about it because I've shared it in several of these videos when I've got my seasonal decorations and it has truly become one of my favorite things. So I definitely want to share it in this video and it is linked in the description. Okay, you guys, we're going to talk about my last two favorite things and their food items and they're sitting in here right beside each other. My first one, we're in the pantry, so the sound may become a little different, and I need to clean my pantry, to be honest. Number one, I have mentioned the Luna Bars. I don't think I've mentioned this, this flavor on a video, but I'm going to tell you, these are my favorite. If you like chocolate, you will love these. I love the Luna Bars. I've had the lemon, the blueberry, the peanut butter. I have the chocolate dipped coconut this one's okay i usually get it but it's not my favorite this one is my favorite chocolate cupcake and i probably need to run to kroger today and get some more because look i'm down to three these are such a nice snack if you are like me and have a sweet tooth these are amazing it cha it tastes just like it's very rich it is rich it's filling and it helps me with my sweet tooth and it's not like oreos which i'm about to talk about so this i i will tell you i think i got a sample pack from amazon so i will link that sample pack in the description below to where you got a different variety of these and this one was by far my favorite and it took me forever to find it target doesn't have it walmart doesn't have it Kroger has it, and Kroger usually has a box of them, like, shoved in the very back of a shelf, so that is where I get mine is Kroger, so if I can find them, I think you can get them on Walmart.com, I think I've gotten them on Walmart.com, if they're over $15, do not pay that price, because that's how much they are at Kroger, so I just love them, they are super, super amazing, very good, I usually always have one of these with me at all times, and then, my sixth and final favorite thing is a new discovery this last weekend. You guys have talked to me about it. You've messaged me. And let me tell you, if you have to eat gluten-free, get yourself some of the gluten-free Oreos. Hands down. These are amazing. You can get double stuffed. I always get the double stuffed. Double stuffed or regular. I'm a double stuffed person. These taste just like Oreos, just like the original Oreos. You cannot tell they are gluten-free. I think they were $3.96 at my Walmart. Go get some, I mean, today, as soon as you can, because you are going to love them if you love Oreos. I mean, which could be a good and a bad thing because I could seriously sit there and eat the entire thing. So I had to mention these because they are truly amazing and nothing else compares to an Oreo. You know what I'm saying? Like the great value brand, which is what I was eating, is just not an Oreo. But now I can enjoy Oreo because it's gluten-free. So I definitely wanted to mention that. 
And those are my six favorite things for January. The longest month I have had in a long time. <laughs> Seriously. So the common question for today is going to be, do you like this style of favorite things where I just kind of walk you through my house and share my favorite things and why I like them? Or do you like the sit down videos where I just kind of insert the clips and I talk to you in front of the camera? So y'all let me know that in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.